Taliban militants attempting to disrupt presidential elections in Afghanistan launched a fresh attack on voting headquarters today. Canadian troops officially pulled out of the region less than two weeks ago, and since then, Kabul has been plagued by militant attacks. As Jacques Bourbeau reports, the violence is only expected to rise as election day approaches. An explosion and bursts of automatic gunfire mark the site of the latest Taliban attack in Kabul. The target this time, Afghanistan's election headquarters. Witnesses say five men dressed as women, shrouded head to toe in burqas, snuck into a neighboring building and began raking the headquarters with gunfire. Heavily armed police and soldiers quickly responded, and the attackers never made their way inside the compound. Afghanistan's deputy interior minister says, fortunately, the five attackers were killed. Only two policemen were wounded. There hasn't been any other fatality, either civilians or our security forces. The Taliban claimed responsibility for the attack, its purpose to disrupt next week's elections. It will affect the elections for sure, says Abdul Wazai, when our people witness the weakness of the government. According to Ahmed Siraj, if the situation remains the same, I can say a lot of people, 20 percent, maybe even 100 percent, will not participate in the elections. Dealing with these attacks, Afghanistan's security forces are increasingly on their own. Canadian troops ended their 12-year tour of duty earlier this month, and most international forces will be gone by the end of this year. But Afghan officials say they have the situation under control, vowing the elections will be held in a secure environment far from any threat. But that doesn't mean the Taliban will stop trying to create chaos. Nine days ago, they stormed a hotel, killing nine people, including two Canadians. And this Friday, they hit a U.S.-based aid group. A suicide bomber detonated a car bomb, killing a child and a security guard. Four militants then rushed the compound, but once again, Afghan police and soldiers quickly responded, and no one inside the building was injured. Besides the dead and wounded, the casualties could be the willingness of Afghans to brave further attacks and vote on April the 5th. Jopper Bo, Global News.